Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so you guys just saw our favorite meme, and y'all know what that means. We're talking about the damn Pissy Pied Piper again, okay? So what's going down with the Pissy Pied Piper, you ask? A 20-year-old woman has come out, and basically she's accusing R. Kelly of giving her herpes. She's saying that she met R. Kelly when she was 19 years old, and he basically manipulated her into a sexual relationship, and they had sex unprotected for 11 months straight. He never told her that he had herpes. He was basically there, you know, having sex with her, having his way with her, and that's how she can contracted the disease. Now the problem for R. Kelly is this, this woman is from Dallas and this took place in the Dallas, Texas area. And in Texas, if you knowingly give somebody an STD, you can be charged with assault. So now this woman is planning on filing criminal charges against R. Kelly on top of suing him, okay? So once this story went viral last week, I wanted to just kind of, you know, sit back, watch how everything played out. And now more information is coming out. Basically, Three top people closest to R. Kelly's camp, they've all deserted him, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys a small article about these three people who basically left R. Kelly in the dust, okay? So recently, Diana Copeland did an interview with the BBC, and Diana Copeland, who is Kelly's executive assistant for over 10 years, confirmed to the BBC that she has resigned from working for Kelly as of April 1st and didn't comment any further. Linda Menish, who is Kelly's entertainment lawyer for four years, has also quit. She told the BBC that she no longer represented Mr. R. Kelly or his entities. And then Travion Cuddy, who is Kelly's publicist, is also done working with Kelly, telling Rolling Stone that he stopped representing the singer as of April 16th. Honey, it sounds like a bunch of bullshit to me, okay? All these damn people knew damn R. Kelly was a pervert. Damn it, I knew this shit, and I've never worked with R. Kelly, okay? These people are not heroes for not leaving him in the month of April. You guys stayed with him for, you know, upwards of four, ten, and however many years his publicist was with them. You know what I'm saying? The only reason why they're leaving now is because R. Kelly's ship is sinking. <laughs> If this is the direction the rats are going, that's good enough for me. These basic rats are basically jumping ship so that way they don't drown and get pulled down in the suction, which is R. Kelly. All of R. Kelly's nastiness and deviant acts are now coming to the light. Especially with that BBC documentary that came out last month, I talked about this on camera, called R. Kelly's Girls Sex and Videotape. A lot of that information in that BBC documentary is very damning, you know what I'm saying? And these people don't want to ruin their own reputations, they don't want people giving them the side eye, they don't want to lose the rest of their clients because of R. Kelly. So again, this goes back to self preservation okay these people are preserving themselves stop acting like they're heroes stop acting like they're leaving r kelly because you know they finally seen the light no it's about money okay they're not gonna lose all their other clients and their good name and their so-called reputation to continue protecting r kelly so basically r kelly is finding himself by his damn self and i don't feel one bit sorry for the pissy pie piper okay because the shit he's been doing is just pretty damn ridiculous <laughs> So now in other Pissy Pie Piper news, TMZ caught up with his daughter and they basically decided to ask her about her father. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this snippet really quick and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. The things that's been going on in, in the industry with him and in the news, so like what are your thoughts on that, you know, with everything that he's been accused of like doing like with women, like you as a woman, like are you supportive of this? What's going on? Um, honestly, I don't have much of a comment as a very close to my heart. It's just hard because his family matters, you know. Yeah. I try not to speak about it too much, but are you and Kels close? Um, I mean, we we're family. Yeah. So. Definitely. <laughs> We're gonna deal with each other. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw that TMZ interview, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I have a problem with that, okay? 
First of all, the media needs to leave R. Kelly's children alone. That girl didn't look no older than the damn girls that he be out here fucking, okay? She looked to be about 19 or 20, which is just really sick when you think about it, okay? But at the end of the day, TMZ shouldn't have asked her anything because that is her father's personal and legal issue. TMZ needs to be contacting R. Kelly and questioning his grown ass, okay? And leave the daughter out of this. You could tell she was clearly uncomfortable. You know, that's her father. You know, that's her blood. So she doesn't necessarily want to throw him under the bus, but then she also knows that what he's doing is wrong. And I don't think that TMZ should have put her in that position. I think that, you know, R. Kelly's children should be left out of this. If you guys want to, you know, harass and stalk R. Kelly, then y'all do that shit but y'all leave his damn kids out this shit you know what I'm saying so this entire situation honey with this Pied Piper is definitely a Dragon Ball T series okay and I'm gonna continue covering this as more information comes out but like I've said from day one I'm not shocked about anything that comes out about R. Kelly this man is sick he's perverted and not only does his ass need some serious psychological help he needs to be in damn jail okay because all the shit that he's doing is definitely criminal so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation once again concerning the pissy pie piper allegedly giving a young woman in dallas herpes and all of his damn so-called team jumping ship let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.